Okay, we're going to show you how to install the locking pin that holds the secondary door closed. This is the first door. This one will have the, you know, be used and open most of the time. The secondary door has, you know, has this uh, door stop on it for the first door so that it stays closed. And we're going to put a, a pin in right now to... Okay, we're inside the shed here. We're going to install this this pin. Um, all it is is a is a barrel bolt that's used for you know normally like locking a gate or something. But we're going to use it to this barrel will actually go up into the wood in the two x four and keep this door closed when when it's closed. So uh, we're going to. Center it here on the 2x4 the rail that's inside the door so we get some good meat into the screws. And we want it to be, we want plenty of the, the bolt to get up into the 2x4. So we're going to hold it down about a quarter inch from the top of the, from the header on the door. And we're going to mark these uh, four holes. We installed extra holes in it. Just took a metal drill bit and drilled holes so that we could get it closer to the, the ceiling. Okay, now our barrel bolt is, is attached to the door. We're gonna mark where that barrel bolt's hitting the hitting the header on the door. So pull pull the door closed tight as you can get it. Push the door bell, bolt up against the ceiling and then trace around it as best you can. And find your center. And then we have a, a drill bit that's the same size as this bolt. And we're going to drill that hole. You need to ream it out just a little bit. It's exactly the same size. So install one of those on the bottom. Down here we have a second one that we're going to install down here in the same manner and our door will be secure. Okay, we're ready to install the, the hasp on this door so that we can lock it. Um, there's all different types of hardware that you can use for gates and shed doors, but this is what we've chosen for this. It's a little simpler. We're going to put it on the doors like this. With this type of uh, the locking hasp, you need to install this this part on the on the operable door, one that moves, and the other part on the on the secondary door. We're using our two and a half inch screws that we use to build the doors with, so that we can once again go all the way through the trim and the siding into the wood studs. You can see that if we use the, the stock screws that came with the hasp, uh, they don't get, they do, would just go into the siding and that could easily be knocked off the, the shed if somebody hit it hard. So we're going to, actually we're going to use a hole that was there from the siding just to keep things clean and it just happened to be in a good spot.
So we'll screw the rest of these off. Okay, the hinge side of the hasp gets installed in the same way. Just line it up so that it, you know it'll come on and off of there. Install the screws. Now that you're installed, um, that's how it works. And your generator is secure.